Hello, viewers. You are watching GAM Television. My name is Veronica van der Kamp, and you are on the show Time with Vero. Well, most of the time we hear that somebody has just had a heart attack and they die. Is that how it works? Or are there signs that we don't know, or we ignore, or we miss? This is what the broadcast today is all about. Just stay tuned and let me introduce my guest to you. Hello and welcome to GAM Television. Hi, yes. Thank you so much for having me, Veronica. Yeah, thanks for making time to sit mm -hmm. with us also. And can you tell us a bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, of course. Uh, so my name is Bryn Hummel and I'm a researcher at the AMC. And in my research, I uh, study cardiovascular disease, and um, I specifically look at differences between women and men and people of different ethnic groups to see if they have different health outcomes and how we can decrease these health outcomes and thereby increasing health for everyone. When we say cardiovascular disease, what is it? So cardiovascular disease is a group of uh, diseases or disorders uh, that concern the heart and the vascular system. So those are the veins, the arteries, anything that your blood flows through. Um, and uh, through lifestyle factors, through aging, through other factors, you can get obstructions in these uh, veins or arteries that your blood flows through, which can then lead to uh, a heart attack or other cardiovascular diseases. Uh, so that is a general term for diseases concerning the heart and your veins. Oh, okay. So many disease concerning the heart, mm -hmm. it's cardiovascular. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Most of the time people just have heart attack. And what we know is that for heart attack, it doesn't give you any sign. It doesn't, um, yeah, it just always happen. Mm -hmm. Is that so? What are the symptoms? Um, it may happen that people don't really have any symptoms up until the moment they have a heart attack, but that's actually quite rare. Usually there are symptoms that can tell you that you, uh, your heart may be, uh, that you may be sick, that you might have a heart attack in the future. Okay. And these are symptoms to look out for. Um, okay. An important symptom is chest pain um, that may be described as pain or like a tightness or pressure on the chest. Um, and usually if pain uh, is elicited for, by exercise, so if it gets worse when you walk or when you cycle or when you do something active, that's usually a, a cause for concern and a reason to contact your GP. Oh, okay. So there are signs that you can see before you get heart attack. Yes, yes, there's many. There's, of course, the chest pain, but also if you suddenly feel a severe or unusual fatigue. Yeah. So if you're more tired, if you feel your, your stamina has gone down, so usually you can walk for ages and now it's hard to get to the bus stop mm -hmm. even or if you uh, are short of breath all of the time, those really are signs to uh, go to the house arts uh, and get it checked out because it may uh, indicate cardiovascular diseases. Most of the time we think, oh, I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, well, we think if it's hot, why should I think that chest pain can cause me a heart problems? So we ignore this mm -hmm. kind of things. And then one day it just happens and you have heart attack. What are the risk factors of heart diseases? Yeah, so in addition to the symptoms to look out for, yeah. there's also a lot of risk factors that you may take into account. Um, I think the most well-known ones are uh, such high blood pressure, mm -hmm. uh, diabetes, high cholesterol, and these are things that you can have checked with your house arts uh, if okay. you're concerned. There's also other risk factors uh, such as stress and that may be financial stress, so if you uh, are experiencing financial problems, but also a lot of stress at work or stress in your home situation, mm -hmm. emotional stress, um, and then of course, lifestyle factors. So if you have an unhealthy diet, meaning a lot of salt, a lot of sugar, a lot of fat, that's a risk factor. Wow. Um, and also poor sleep and a lack of exercise. All of these things can contribute to heart disease. It's really deep. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot to it. And of course, these behavioral factors, they increase your risk of things such mm -hmm. as diabetes, high blood pressure, high uh, cholesterol, and then those affect your heart. Wow. So when do you really have to think, no, I have to see my house act? 
Yeah, so the main thing to look out for, and this uh, is in both women and men, this is the case, yeah. is chest pain. Now, oh, sometimes okay. people experience chest pain, it may just be like a second or two and then it's gone. That's usually not cause for concern, um, but if it happens often, you should still go to your GP. But in particular, if the chest pain uh, lasts for a long time, and if uh, it is elicited by exertion, meaning that if you uh, get chest pain through exercise, so if walking, cycling, any of these activities cause chest pain, and then it doesn't go away uh, within a minute or two, um, that is cause for concern. Mm. Also, if you're experiencing the symptoms uh, such as chest pain combined with things such as shortness of breath, a lot of fatigue, um, but also sweating, nausea. And then for women, it's also um, a tightness between your shoulder blades or if you're um, just feeling unwell in general. Um, so that in combination with chest pain is really a reason to immediately contact your GP and not wait any longer. Um, mm. And then they will do the further work on seeing if you should visit them or go to the emergency services. Wow, so we shouldn't take these things lightly at all. No, definitely not. No, it's better to be safe than sorry in that sense. So it's better to visit your GP and be there and, oh, it's, it's nothing. Yeah. Uh, than not go to your GP and not getting the care that you need. Wow. And we have problems with the Dutch healthcare system. You know, mm -hmm. most of the time you, you can see, you feel something, you call, and even the receptionist will not even give you appointment. Is it because we don't know how to communicate? Or, yeah, enlighten us a bit by how the Dutch healthcare mm -hmm. works, because we are really struggling with this. Yeah. Yeah, of course, healthcare, this healthcare system in the Netherlands, specifically the general practitioners, they're very busy. This does mm -hmm. not mean, however, that you don't have rights to appropriate care. So if you really have a cause for concern, you should call your GP. Mm -hmm. And if you mention symptoms such as chest pain uh, mm -hmm. combined with the other symptoms, they should give you an appointment or tell you to uh, come by immediately. Um, or maybe in a later stage, but at least within the same week, you should be able to come by because it might be urgent. Um, if you uh, are sent home, that's not a cause of concern and you can actually be very assertive in that. So if the uh, reception is saying, oh, you know, it's probably nothing, I don't have time right now, you should not take that lightly and you should still say, I really want to see my GP. You can stand your ground because you deserve the right care. Um, and the yeah. same thing applies to when you go to your GP. I think the miscommunication may be mm -hmm. that um, some people see the GP or the house arts as very hierarchical yeah. person. So like there's a power dynamic. Mm -hmm. And I think most house arts uh, really want to collaborate. So you want to work together to a solution. Um, and that may very well be like a difference between cultures in how you work together with your GP. Uh, that does mean that if you go to your GP, it's very important to stress the symptoms that you have. Um, and what you expect of them, what you need of them, uh, what you want from this situation. Uh, and if your GP or your house arts doesn't take you seriously, which you always hear the stories of you get sent home with, oh, take a yeah. paracetamol or an aspirin yeah. and you'll be good. Um, you're actually allowed to tell them that you disagree with them. And if you want a second opinion, you can ask for that. Because that's also what Dutch people do. And if you're not happy with the care that you receive with your house arts, you're free to transfer to another house arts because you have rights to the appropriate and to the right care. How do you do that? Who do you ask for a second opinion? Because well, you don't want your house doctor to think you don't trust him or her. So we think you will offend them when you say you want a second opinion. So how do you do it? Do you ask that from your house doctor? Or do you have to they'll say, yeah, there's a site or a number you have to call and say, I want a second opinion. Yeah. How do you do that? Yeah, <laughs> it may seem very awkward, but it's actually your house arts who you're discussing that with. And of course, your house arts is also just a, a person. They're a human being. They can make mistakes. They can miss things. They might misinterpret things. Uh, and while, of course, you should always have respect for your house arts, if you disagree with them, you can tell them that you disagree with them. And if you feel like you want a second opinion, you can ask them, oh, I'm sorry, I don't think that's right. I want a second opinion on this. And they 
should be able to oblige that and either refer you to a different hazard or a cardiologist or another specialist. And after that, you stay there or you come back to the house doctor again. Yeah, yeah, but usually they don't take it uh, wrong. Usually oh, okay. they don't take it as a bad thing. And if they do, then I think that's their problem and they don't okay. like criticism. And okay. even the hazards, you know, they're not like a, a holy person. They can, they should take some criticism. Okay. Yeah. So it's okay to tell the house doctor, I don't really agree with this. I want a second opinion. And uh, if you can help me with that. Exactly. And yeah. You have to. Okay. I know you are busy with a study. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Um, so I'm doing research and it's on the barriers and the facilitators uh, in the care process for cardiovascular mm -hmm. disease. Uh, so we know that there's differences in health outcomes between uh, people from different ethnic groups where the majority white Dutch um, usually have better health outcomes than people from ethnic minority groups, which is very sad to hear. Um, and that's why with this research, we're aiming to reduce these uh, differences in health outcomes and improving the health for everyone. Uh, so we're doing a study on what uh, people may need or what people have experienced or what um, can help them to, uh, first of all, look for help uh, easier. So if you are having symptoms, what do you need in order to go to your GP? And if you're talking with your GP, what do you need to make that care process go more fluently? Uh, so that you can receive the right care at the right time and then you'll have better health outcomes. Okay, so the research is for everybody or it's only with people who are already diagnosed mm -hmm. to have heart problems? Yeah, we're looking at people who have received the diagnosis, ideally uh, recently, so within the last five or so years. Okay. Um, because so much has changed in the health care field, of course, so mm -hmm. experiences from 20 years ago are very different from these today. Uh, and then we want to interview patients about their experience in the healthcare. So um, when did you notice symptoms? When did you go to your GP with these symptoms? Did you even go to your hazards or did you wait until it uh, got a lot worse over time? And how did that, uh, the communication with your hazards go? Did you receive the right care? Did you receive the diagnosis in time? All of these factors you want to know so that with this information, we can uh, try to improve the health of uh, different ethnic groups, including the Ghanaians in Amsterdam. Okay, so you think it's very important for people to participate with this study? Yes, exactly, yeah. Because of course, I as a white researcher mm -hmm. have no clue about the different barriers and needs that people may experience if they um, are struggling with getting the right care at the right time. Yeah. Because to me, it all makes so much sense to uh, seek help when people have, when I have chest pain and to go to my GP. And if I disagree with my house arts, then, you know, I might ask for a second opinion. Um, but there are so many cultural factors and different factors at play there for, for instance, Ghanaians or people from Surinamese descent. Um, and I want to know what people experience and how we can improve yeah. the health for them. So what does participate Participation entails, and how can people sign in? Yes, so uh, participation means that I'll have an interview mm -hmm. uh, with the patient, and an interview is about one hour, m about 60 minutes, I think. Okay. Uh, and in this interview, we discuss um, their experience with the healthcare system, and what they've gone through, the type of symptoms they had, uh, and of course, how they interacted with their house arts. Um, and it's very important to stress that this interview is only used for research purposes. Yeah. It's fully confidential, so I would never share the information in the interview with anyone else um, just for the research. So also if you say, oh, my hazards did this or my cardiologist mm -hmm. did that, um, they never get to know that unless the participant decides to tell them. Um, but it's fully confidential. Any identifiable information is taken out and it's just used for research purposes. Okay, so if I understand you very well, people who are already diagnosed within the past five years, yeah. they can come tell their story, what's going well, what's not going well mm -hmm. with them. And based on that, you will, I mean, at the end of the mm -hmm. research, they'll find a way to make it yeah. better, how it works more with us, the... Mm -hmm. Call it what, but with color. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. therefore we need to know what the barriers are and yeah. what the needs are so that we can make it tailored to uh, people from, for instance, Ghanaian descent. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, as a white person, I can imagine things that may be barriers, but if I don't know uh, the real barriers that people have experienced, then it might not fit. And we want to actually focus on different ethnic groups in this research mm -hmm. and not make something for the higher educated white population. No, I understand you very well because um, I was taking a medication. Mm -hmm. My husband was also taking the same medication, but it was not working for me because my husband is Dutch. Mm -hmm. So my house doctor had to change mine with the same kind of problem we mm -hmm. are having. And then I have a different kind of medication, mm -hmm. but it worked for me better. Yeah. And for him also a different kind of mm -hmm. medicine work for him yeah. so i understand them um, yeah that's uh, yeah. i think in cardiology i yeah. hope most cardiologists and uh, hazards know that uh it's the beta blockers which work for white people yeah and they work less uh, well for people with african descent so they usually get calcium uh, channel blockers mm. which is a different group of medicine uh, but one seems to work for white people and one for people from african descent i'm not sure why but well, it's good yeah. that we study this because you know, just studying white people means that other people don't get the right care they need. How do people reach you if they want to mm -hmm. take part with this study? Um, through any means that's easiest for them. Mm -hmm. I have an email address, which is b.hummel at amsterdamumc.nl. And also um, people can call me, text me, WhatsApp me uh, at my phone number, which is 06-137-10159. Great. And does people get something returned when they take part in this study? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, because we value people's time and people's openness yeah. in sharing their experiences, mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank people and therefore we have a gift card, okay. uh, which is of 25 euros. And um, we've decided to let people choose the type of gift card they want because uh, we can give them the typical fe 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 bon, but it's not a thing that you can really um, spend anywhere. So. If people want one from the Kruidvat, it can be a Kruidvat gift card. If they want Albert Heijn, it can be an Albert Heijn gift yeah. card. Whatever people like. Just to thank them for their time. Yes, of course. Yeah, because you know, participating in research mm -hmm. can be a barrier for people. And also yeah. talking about these experiences was maybe a very emotional thing for people to do. Um, and just the effort that people put in. I mm -hmm. feel like we need to thank people for that because it, we need it so bad. Great. Yes. Very interesting. And uh, is there something you want to tell my viewers why you think it's really very important for them to get in touch and be part of this study? Um, yeah, I want to uh, invite anyone who fits the criteria, so who was recently diagnosed with cardiovascular disease, to participate um, because not only can we help you prevent further cardiovascular disease, but also other Ghanaians in the Netherlands who may not have cardiovascular disease yet, but who may experience it in the future. Uh, we want to help them so that they can seek care earlier, receive the right care, and then have better health outcomes. So you're not just helping yourself, but you're also helping your community. Is this study more on Ghanaians or just everybody? Um, we're looking at very uh, various ethnic groups and we're focusing yeah. on Dutch, Turkish, Moroccan, Surinamese and Ghanaians. People from other ethnic groups are more than welcome to join. Okay. Um, but since these are the largest ethnic groups in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. we include those uh, similar to the, the Helia study that you uh, are an ambassador of, of course. Yeah. Thank you very yes. much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Well, 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 viewers, this has been very interesting. Please get in touch. Because this study says it's not only for us. We want to have a better health care in this country. And we don't tell our story. How can they do things better for us? So please be part of this study. It will help you and also the next generation that is coming. Well, in Yanom, and Komoa, Yabue, Nina, Efa, Ekuma, Yariyahu. Dear ye nim ni se ubeti ya yesu ubi nya heart attack pa na we wu ye yes you ye nim ye koso heart attack heart attack de wote wa na ababe to che se science be bri woho ibi woho se chest pain ibi wa 
na chese wye bibi kakra no wabre ebi wo ho stress ama wa ya ha ha ni ma bebre utumri kakakra bi a utumu se wo ho mete ti size ke tenke ti bebre aye hu ba ye mfa ni serious so no ani so wo ho da cry si wo nya heart attack no no ano no ti we ye steady a wo mo ye om se om hu se endro na obi o ho a ya diagnose ke ke se wo problem wo wo heart on but e bia wo no ma dro bi a ne wo nje ya ye nim se to bia wo ya re bia e dro na wo nom no to se wo fa dro wo ya wo nam ye o basa e so doctor de se dro yi ama o sa o ma hu se abrofo ne ye bi bi fo no ye dro nom no difference wo e bia dro we no e ji bro ni nso e dro wo de ma tuntumu a enje no into a beer within the past five years. Wako hospital, ama ya kacho or say, problem wa wakuma wa yama we drono. Womu invite o. Dear air kosu, wa wano house doctor and tem. Se de undro fanete. Se de wofa wumu yo. Se air buao. Se em buao. Ompe se utnasi. Na ye nu disa unko mono. House doctor. Yanko can't change is any person, mercy. Waba, ama a wabba can see be a draw de mano, and ye, and now says, on per se, womunya, de be a bad for nipa be a ten, ne drew back where de ma like be bini, u be a complaint, a draw way, and ye, mamma, a so mo quay drew nim no mo shenny ye, say, eh, a draw way nipa be bra complain about this a drew, in ti yen shall say, dear womo, et is a nyan farmwa, and ye for yen po, ye ma. Any one more mudi di echia one The telephone number and in the email in our audit to Jano. In your no man more share me. Where your dear a here yen a here the could be all no more a draw see a draw crana a coffee a rear say a bra side effects a one who crano or no cry a be bray. In two on person share a quire one be makey or be a walk on my yarry or my improved or treatment in so. Or no one come on a ye be de yen. Into war within five years, ni be be sa friend number and any email address a be go sooner. Na kawasem, dear how, dear ko ye, dear unco ye, nem we be your mons one, one more de abwa. Yo, young come wa hana ye de besi, ye moa moon near ba, moa mo mammy, the only calf and the camp. And nay, me name me ammy bay. Or no see a researcher. Um brain humor. Yes, exactly. Now we need to chew in common. Into no obesity at the yanka. It damn my sister munya dajie. Eddie Shay. Stay blessed. <laughs>